Minnesota is closer to making school meals free for all kids, regardless of how much money their parents make. The Minnesota Senate passed the bill this afternoon. Caroline Cummings is at the Capitol right now to explain. Caroline? Hi there, Frank. So this bill would make permanent a pandemic era policy that made meals free for all kids in school. And the bill's author put it this way, calling it a lunchbox tax credit that would not only feed kids, but it would also make it more cheap for families, save families money at a time when sticker shock is everywhere because of inflation. But above all, advocates say this is a crucial step to curbing child hunger. Now, in order to qualify, all schools would need to enroll in the federal free and reduced price lunch meal program. The state would pick up the tab to cover everyone else who doesn't meet those requirements to the tune of $388 million in the next two years. This way, all kids can get breakfast and lunch, and supporters say it ensures no kid falls through the cracks. An anti-hunger group estimates that one in four food insecure children right now don't qualify for support under federal programs. Besides the healthy meals and giving money back to families, feeding kids at school is the right thing to do. Being hungry makes learning almost impossible. There is no worksheet or assignment, test or project that will matter to a student who hasn't had anything to eat. Now, some Republicans joined Democrats in voting yes for this bill in the Senate today, but GOP members did raise concern about how much it costs in the context of the price tag of some other DFL budget priorities this session. So what's next? Well, the House already did pass this bill, but the Senate has to send it back over to that chamber because they made some small changes to it, and the governor is expected to sign it, and this program could be operational, Frank, in time for summer school this July. All right, Caroline Cummings live at the Capitol. Thank you.